Is that treasure? How can I help? I'll be glad to help in any way I can, but how? That's the question. When we fought the swarm of uh, the uh, vescava uh, vescavores, someone put a handkerchief soaked with pheromones in my pocket, which attracted the insects. I found a vial of the same pheromones in your tent. Nero's cheek blushed uh, a little. That's my perfume. Perhaps it's strange to take perfume on a crusade, but you, you see, Night Commander, it is my reminder of a moral normal, of a more normal, peaceful life. Well, mm, what I'll go back to after we've won, and besides, smell drives men insane. I have no idea how this smell affects infernal insects, I'm a historian, not a demonologist. Perhaps a malicious person used my perfume to lure the escaphores to you, but I swear it wasn't me. Maybe... Nura again lowers her voice to a whisper. Maybe one of my admirers is trying to hurt you and set me up? Nura? Did Kobold get added? Yep. Well, he's not. He won't be in this. He won't be in the camp. But. But Nera. Okay, she must be in the tent. Nera is very suspicious right now. I can handle it. Make the demons wait. Hmm. Oh God! Uh, good days. Uh, the League of the um, the fate of the League of the Cards affected you greatly. So you could say I did what I thought was right. I tried to help a good person with their troubles and what came of it. I'm sorry, but I won't find peace until I track down Curl and Janna. What were they thinking? Is there any way to get through to them? Or should I just admit I was terribly wrong? And there's another thing that's worrying me. The way people react to your power and mine, they think that we've been chosen by Alma by Iomade. They need to pray at our uh, they need to pray at our feet. I'm not comfortable with the younger warriors hanging on my every word. I feel alone. Nobody else is going to sit with me and celebrate saving a beer card. And I'd like to regain, if not the friendship, at least the trust of the other knights, especially those I respect and consider my friends. Oh.
Let's see what we can do. Ah, boy, there you are. Good. Uh, uh, very good. Just in time. You'll be delighted to know that I need you for an experiment. So, the Great Garrison stands ruthless. To, uh, ruthless. Demons are running for the hills with their tails between their legs. Mendev's queen, that's what's her name. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, yes. Galfrey. Close enough. Is scurrying to and fro, and all this is somehow connected to you, my follower. My loyal follower. Thus far, there is no scientific evidence of your exceptionality. If one discounts blind faith and divine intervention, which I do, we, uh, we people of science refuse to believe in the inexplicable without any proof. We are the ones who explain the inexplicable, and therefore open your mouth and say, ah, for me. Ah. And he appears in your mouth with a, with a practiced eye. All right. Your throat's fine. Tongue looks perfectly normal. Your teeth. He sniffs. The smell is in line with the regular function mm, functioning of the digestive system. Now for your teeth. He sticks one hand in your mouth and probes each of your teeth in turn with the skill of a seasoned dentist. No detectable alterations. And by the way, did you know that many individuals, like while being wholly uh, civilized representatives of their races, still have an amazingly powerful bite? As if suddenly re uh, recalling something, Nenina promptly pulls her hand out of your mouth. Are you really trying to find a correlation between fang length and civil uh, civility? With teeth like mine, I should know. Nenio casts a puzzled glance at you, but then quickly nods. Ah, yes, you're a dampier. Ha <laughs> uh, Field research has shown that a dampier's bite will turn an individual, individual neither into a vampire nor into another dampier. Unfortunately, the average bumbler on the street prefers to believe idle speculations rather than scientific fact. Moving on. All right. What do we have next? Ears. Let's check your hearing. Uh, testing. Hold on. Actually, I got a bit of I got a <clears throat> Testing. Hearing is fine. <laughs> Nenio yells right in your ear here and nods in satisfaction as she observes your reaction. Your hearing is fine. Was fine. But don't worry. It's scientifically proven that it, would, that it should return to normal soon. Next. E eyes and ear. Uh, eyes are clear. Posture is satisfactory. Uh, limb length is standard. No lice. Uh, she stops. Uh, she stops. Uh, rubs her chin in contemplation and, in a slightly dejected tone, says, Boy, you are the picture of health. It's a pity. I was expecting to find some anomaly. Well, now let's assess your mental state. I imagine a hypothetical situation. You are a tree. Two squirrels have found their way into your hollow and are now copulating there. What do you do? I'll do precisely nothing because I'm a treat. An unconscious act of withdrawal along with a lack of trust in your own abilities, or perhaps just a healthy dose of pragmatism. On to the next question, another hypothetical situation. You are tomato. You have just been picked from the vegetable patch and put into, into a crate. You know that today the cook will use half of the tomatoes from your crate to make soup. What do you do? Try to dig deeper into the crate. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. An unconscious act of rejecting the unspoken rules and laws underpinning the function functioning of the universe. Yes, it is all quite clear to me. Rejecting universal rules and behavior, uh, behavioral norms, along with a distinct unwillingness to take firm position in the choice between good and evil. There's something of the trickster in you. Oh my, <laughs> trickster, really. On that note, I deem this experiment complete. Thank you for the thank you for your participation, and yet to remain. And he looks at you pensively, and the gesture at you with a wide sweep of her arm. And yet you remain a puzzle to me. I love puzzle. One of these days, I will solve you completely, unless I forget. <laughs> oh, Nenio. Now I have time to answer your questions. Come and ask away. So you're a Kitsune. And stating the obvious does have, and um, um, stating the obvious does you no credit. How does it feel to suddenly remember that you belong to another race? It is slightly unusual. 
So, uh, no matter that, uh, no matter that, knowing this fact will not help me write an encyclopedia. Therefore, it is useless. Therefore, I was right to forget it. Are you sure you really want to meet this, uh, meet the mysterious entity we know nothing about? I am sure. I am. Cons I am cons I'm convinced. Think about all the knowledge hidden here and the emptiness. It seems that we. It seems to me that this event, or is certain to be my triumph, the experiment of the century. No, the millennium. Or maybe it will become my downfall. A complete fiasco. Here's the deal. If it, if the mysterious entity decides to gobble me up, run as fast as you can while it's distracted. Tell all the glaring about the heroic death of its greatest daughter. Tell them she perished, but that she never strayed for the thorny road to knowledge. Very well. Is that a trap? Carrying on then. Here we go. Still the same ones, huh? Damn. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, so this one is going to be an interesting fight. Let's do this.
Oh man, that's the first unit I've ever lost. This fight is going to be pretty rough. That's a lot. Oh, I should have. Oh, well. But wow. Oh, wow. That was rough. Ooh. May be able to go to the underground hideout now. That one was rough. 
I can handle it. Oh, I'm actually quite exhausted. So you know what? I'm going to rest. Soup. Oh, and I got a lot and a lot of it too. Yeah, we'll go with this. I mean, we'll go with this for the day. And boom. I am continuing my efforts to identify and record Paladin curse words. Hey, Paladin girl, I covered your armor with soot. You're like a little kid. I can't get upset with you, let alone swear at you. Come over here. Help me clean this armor. <laughs> All successful. All successful. This is not looking like a good place. Something over there. All right. Here we go. stranger guessing this is going to be one of the areas yeah it's going to be one of those areas where uh one of those uh special objects are located that'd be good this ought to be good Can handle it. 
Do not waver. Oh, hi. Got this. Why me? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Getting my of course. <laughs> of course. Meditate on your mistakes. We won't oh, fall you. here. I swear it. The inheritor, guide my blade. Be gone, fiend. Fall. I got this. Down the divine wrath. Built off comes Belrus. Lark. Eternal Rose, I call upon you. That will seem a relief. Oh, will it? You should have listened to reason. Oh, hey, she hit. The inheritor, guide my blade. Be gone, fiend. Are you still here? Oh. Something over there. Ah, crap. 
Here we go. This one. I can handle it. Can't make the demons wait. Hmm? Make every strike count. They will break against our resolve. the wrong mongrel. Oh god. Um. Uh, oh. 